Santa Rosa, California, Salvation Army. I'm looking for cool stuff that I can sell to you for cheap. Let's go. This is kind of an interesting find right here from the studio store of Warner Brothers. And it's got all these embroidered characters right along the button line. I, I wouldn't buy this, but it's cool to see some old Warner Brothers studio store stuff here. It's kind of caught my eye over here. I never buy records, but here's an old Curtis Blow record. And then there's a bunch of like old funk, 80s funk stuff. The condition is trash. But it's kind of cool to see some of these album covers right here. Jermaine, cool in the gang. Who are these guys? I love that. The Jerry Curl mullets are beautiful. Sick. I didn't grab those records, nor did I grab that Warner Brothers Studio store onesie. But next stop is the Goodwill, and it's the big one. It's kind of interesting. I found a video game section in between the books here. This is new. Not that I'm going to buy any video games, but kind of interesting to see this here just randomly. Last time I was here, I found Bill Cosby at his best, but today we're finding Woody Allen. I think the reason why I enjoy this Goodwill so much is because of the media section is just vast. They have everything from records, this is actually kind of cool, to tapes, VHS, you name it, they got it here. It's kind of funny right here, we have these wacky knockoff hats. Ten bucks of the Goodwill, right on. It's kind of interesting right here, it's an old vintage police hat, probably from the, I don't even know, what, 50s, 60s? No badge, but still pretty cool. Right on. Look at this randomly a short sleeve Pendleton shirt. Might have to pick this up. Last few times I've been here, it's been slam full of stuff. I'm gonna check it out. Here's an old vintage, I don't know, golden bear on a pink background. It's a single stitch on a fruit of loom tag. It's kind of fun. It's my size too. I'm gonna grab it. Ghost hunters. Idiot. Definitely one of the ugliest t-shirts I've come across in a long time. Is this a violent gentleman shirt? It's gross. The kind of shirt if you hold on to for 10, 15 years is going to be worth a chunk of change. So anybody that wears this shirt has problems. Well, I find it amazing some of the stuff they let slide here at Goodwill. Never seen one of these before, a Hawaiian style Pendleton? Huh. Came across this weird Saw X Blood Drive movie t-shirt. It's pretty rad and I was looking up comparables and the first two that popped up... Now those aren't sold, but at the same time, that's the only two I can find. Here's a real ugly old Big Dogs t-shirt. Kind of fun. I love this because of the material. It's an acid wash. It's from the 80s. Look this tag. Can't even read it. But uh, who really gives a about like Ken, Kenwood Vineyards? Uh, not me. This thing is sick right here. Cool shelf piece. Here's another one in the box. So cool. Somebody definitely was in the video editing. I have no idea what these things are worth, but they are rad. Every time I come in here, they have vintage Polaroids. Not gonna grab this one though. This is cool though, this old leather Polaroid case. I might grab that. Gotta check it out, see what's in there. Look at this, it's a Bieber, Team Bieber. A little Bieber action going on here. Well loved Team Bieber action. I swear to you, the older I get, the nerdier I get. Look at this old land camera. It's in really good shape. All the manuals and stuff are here. There's not really much, I don't know how much value there is going on here, but it doesn't take away from the cool factor. This thing is clean. I've had a couple of these, but yeah, dude, super cool. Look at all this paper. That's so sick. I'm going to see if it's 15 bucks for the whole thing. If it is, I might just grab it. All right, leaving the Goodwill with a couple of t-shirts, passed on everything else, but that's okay. We're on to the next. Redwood Gospel Thrift, still looking for the free coffee. Right from jump, you're getting taxed. More taxation. Look at this. What makes this cool is this. Kind of a fun shirt right here. An Anaheim Hero Baker Strong. No idea what this means. I keep finding Pendleton's today. I don't know why that is, but normally you don't ever see them. Here's some like 2010's Giants jerseys over here. They're all like 30 bucks a piece. They're nice for the most part, but I'm good. Here it is, free Bibles. All right, pure Bibles over there. Let's go to the next. Next up, pick at the and this one can be a fun one. Let's go. Right off jump, I see this Alabama 1999 hat. Kind of corny. I can clean this up though. This shirt's pretty fun over here on the front. It says Chicano style and the back has this Harley Davidson, Derek Elizabeth, Chicano style, but it's like a 3XL. Too big. It's kind of nice right here. It's an old CBGB sweatshirt, seven bucks. Got a nice back hitter on the back. Probably pick this up, it's my size. This man is my spirit animal. This is so cute. Look at this, a philanthropy pig. Oh, cute. Came out of there with a hat and a hoodie for eight bucks. Let's go to the next. Next up, Goodwill, let's go. Oh yes score oh a whole bunch of hats here today all in a big giant gross pile here's an old hitachi giveaway but it kind of shows me a little bit of promise maybe there's something cool in here somebody paid to have this made and then they never wore it what a shame oh this is sick right here look at these blades old lightning blades these are trash but 
Super cool to see something this age here. It's kind of interesting, Nike taking the old designs of uh, Life Forms t-shirts and slapping them on new sh Huh, trippy. Hey, oh, I gotta say, it's been picked pretty clean. Nothing there, let's go to the next. Next stop, Sutter Valley, let's go. I'm sure these guys are old and boys. That's about it. This definitely came from a Facebook ad. Whiskey Town. I'm sure it's pretty flustered over there. <laughs> All right, I'm in a little bit of a time crunch, so I had to take off, but it looked like that lady was definitely firmly planted and not moving at all. So uh, yeah, let's just see what there is uh, on the other side of town. Next up is the Goodwill on 4th. Let's go. Man, somebody must have given up on Sorbo over here. This is so disappointing. Look at all these Hercules seasons. Wow. It's like a more serious knockoff version of Lethal Weapon. It's a, it's a beautiful cover. Oh, look at these. They're sealed. I don't even know who this is. Ghoul? I kind of love these. Uh... Wow, look at these. This is cool. Yeah, I'm going to get these. Sick. What's up with all the sealed metal over here? Pretty cool. This is a piece of sh Grab that second metal CDs and let's go to one more. Last stop, Welfare League. Oh, I gotta pay the meter. What is this? Came across a couple of these guys right here. Yeah. This is pretty sick. Gotta say it was a pretty low key day when I was thrifting today, but I did come out of there with some stuff. So let's check out what we got. So I came across this shirt. I don't know who this is. Jimmy, is it Gimme or Jenny? I don't know. Jimmy Murray, S-A-S. No idea. Super cool, old school. Probably early 90s, single stitch, little heater right there. Also picked up this Saw X blood drive, blood donation thing. I, super cool. Kind of fun movie. It's a lot of movie stuff today. This uh, the Star Trek in theaters, 2009 insurance <laughs> collaboration. It's got a little bingle bangle on the front there but i grabbed two of them they were a dollar a piece so star trek fans yabba do and then uh the cbgb um hoodie right here it's got a zip on the front super clean on a cbgb tag i'm not sure if there's much value to these but it doesn't really matter because i'm gonna wear this and then i picked this up the other day at a garage sale it's a michael's harley davidson and katati hasn't been michael's for a long time this shirt is from 2003 um, but I like the tie-dye pattern on it. For the physical media, I picked up this copy of Beverly Hills Cop on tape, one of my favorite movies of all time. The first one's the best one, and I've heard they're gonna do another one, we'll see. Also grabbed this sealed brain oil CD, Necrot. No idea who these bands are, but the covers look cool. And here's a second cool cover, this 1999 Alabama hat, and that's it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, uh, and I'll see you guys pretty soon. Enjoy.